Some people say, well, God is almighty. He knows all. He has power over all things. He can do anything. What does this mean? So they say that God can do anything. So why can't he become a man? What do yes, you say about this? That's a common argument that's put forth that why are you restricting the powers of God? Exactly. God can do anything, everything. So why are you restricting the powers of Almighty God? And I tell them, for sake of argument, I agree with you, God can do anything and everything. And you say that God can become a human being. So if I agree with you, God can become a human being, then you have to realize once God becomes a human being, he ceases to be God. You say God can become a human, I have no problem, but he ceases to be God. You cannot say there is a God man. If you say there is a God man, God who has become man and has the power of God, it doesn't make sense. Why? Because it, by definition, God is immortal. Human being is mortal. You can either have an immortal person or a mortal person. You can have a person who is immortal and mortal at the same time. It is meaningless. Does it make sense? Doesn't make sense. Almighty God has no beginning. Human beings have a beginning. Mm -hmm. You can't have a person who has no beginning and has a beginning at the same time. It's meaningless. Almighty God has got no end. Human beings have an end. You can't have a person who has no end and has an end at the same time. It's meaningless. It's like telling I saw a tall short man. You either have a tall man or a short man. <laughs> it is... It is it is uh, absolutely, you cannot use a word like in tall shot. Yeah. You either have a tall man, short man or a medium man. Mm -hmm. You can't have a tall short man, you can't have a fat thin man. <laughs> so similarly, you can't have a God man. Yes. For example, uh, Almighty God does not require to eat. Mm -hmm. Human means require to eat. Yes. Quran says in Surah Anam chapter 6 verse 14, It is Allah who feedeth everyone but does not require to be fed. We human beings, we require rest and sleep. Almighty God does not require rest and sleep. Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse 2, 255 in Ayat al-Kursi, Allahu la ilaha al hayyul qayyum, la taqhuz hinata wa nannaw, lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi lard. It's Allah, He's the one, the eternal, self-sustaining. No slumber can see them, nor do they require rest. To Him belongs everything in the heaven and the earth. So if I carry forward the argument that God can do anything and everything, if I agree, then even God can tell a lie. But to tell a lie is ungodly. The yeah. moment God tells a lie, he sees it to be God. So similarly, if you say that Almighty God became a human being, if I agree, fine, but he loses the power of God. If he loses the power of God, what is the use of worshipping that human being, like you and me? Yeah. And then they say that human being became God. If a human being can become God tomorrow, you and I also can be God. And my next question is, if God became human being, who controlled the world for more than 30 years? Yeah. If I agree with <laughs> the Christian, God became human being, who controlled the world for those 30 days? So they keep on going in circles here and there, you know, like that, happening there. And furthermore, if I agree with the argument of God can do anything and everything, uh, God can also do injustice. But to do injustice is ungodly. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, 40, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never unjust in the least degree. The moment God does injustice, he seems to be God. If I agree with the argument, God can do anything and everything, God can even forget. But to forget is ungodly. Allah says in Surah Tahar, chapter 20, verse 52, that Allah never forgets. The moment God forgets, he ceases to be God. And that same argument, God can even make a mistake. But to make mistake is ungodly. Quran says in Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse 52, Allah never makes a mistake. The moment God makes a mistake, he ceases to be God. So nowhere does the Quran say that God can do anything and everything. What does the Quran say? In Allah, Allah in Kadir. For verily, Allah has power over all things. In Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 106. In Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 109. In Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 284. In Surah Limran chapter 3 verse 29. In Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 77. In Surah Fatih chapter 35 verse number 1. In several places the Quran says, In Allah, Allah in Kadir. For verily, Allah has power over all things. That is the reason Allah says in Surah Buraj. Chapter 85, verse 16. Allah is the doer of all he intends. Whatever Allah intends, he can do. But God will never intend doing ungodly things like telling a lie, like making a mistake, like becoming a human being. So what God intends, he can do. Mm -hmm. But to say God can do anything and everything, it is illogical.